Todo. Thank you very much for introduction. So my name is Yosuke Todo from NTT Secure Platform Laboratories. So today I'd like to talk about new impossible differential search tool from design and cryptanalysis aspect. So and this work is joint work with Yu Sasaki. Okay, so the first I want to explain what is impossible differential attack. So the, this attack is one of the most powerful cryptanalytic technique against block ciphers. And uh, this technique was first uh, introduced by Knuth and Beham at our independently. So the core idea, so we first uh, decompose the entire block cipher into three sub-block ciphers, and we focus on the middle sub-block cipher, and assume the input difference is, is delta in. And so in such case, so if uh, it never happens, the output differences becomes delta out, we call delta in, delta out is impossible differential. So if we want to attack uh, the entire block cipher by using these characteristics, so then so we uh, get sub keys in the first and last several rounds, and we compute delta in and delta out from delta p and delta c respectively. And if get sub key leads to impossible differential, we know the get sub keys are incorrect. And by repeating this procedure, we can recover the secret key. So in my talk, we focus on how to find impossible differential. This means how to find uh, this uh, property for the middle sub-block cipher. So now I propose a new impossible differential search tool based on mixed integer linear programming. So and uh, by using uh, this new technique, we get new results from cryptanalysis and design aspects. So for our cryptanalysis aspects, uh, we apply our new tool to five uh, block ciphers, and as a result, we get uh, improved impossible differential characteristics. But uh, from the time of limitation, I only explain as uh, a case of middle and lady part because, so, because uh, these two applications are most interesting. And uh, from design aspect, so by using this technique, so we can get uh, something provable security on specific pairs of differences and as a subkey uniform assumption. And uh, by using arbitrary Xbox mode, we can get, uh, we can detect the optimality of the Xbox choice. So the main body, okay. So the first, I took a previous general method to find the impossible differential. So probably a new method is the most famous uh, method to find impossible differential. So in this method, uh, we want to check delta i and delta o uh, impossible differential or not. So we first propagate delta i in forwards and uh, record uh, active or inactive bits. And second, uh, we propagate delta o in backwards and to record the same information. Finally, we check uh, contradiction, and if, uh, so for example, in the round three, we have a contradiction, we know uh, delta i, delta o becomes impossible differential. So, but our new tool is completely independent from this type research, because our tool can use uh, mixed integer linear programming. So the, from now, I talk uh, what is mixed integer linear programming, MLP. So MLP is an optimization or feasibility program in where variables are restricted to integers. So MLP consists of three uh, structures. Uh, first is variables, and another is constraints, and final is objective function. So this is an example of MLP. For example, x, y, z uh, variables, and these variables are restricted to binary value. And uh, we have two constraints uh, from the inequalities. And our goal, uh, the goal of MLP is to maximize x plus y plus 2z. So this solution is three uh, instances x, y, z is one, zero, one. So by MLP solver, for example, CPLEX or a Groovy optimizer, so we can practically get uh, this solution. So actually, 
it is ML as a, it, so application of MLP is not fast. So this type of research was first introduced by Nikki Munha et al. to guarantee the lower bound of the number of active S boxes. And after his uh, proposal, uh, we have many follow-up works. So for example, uh, to get tight differential characteristics and the linear hull or uh, integral attack via division property and their correlation linear. So in our talk, in my talk, uh, we focus on impossible differential. So first, I explain how to model block cipher. So this is an example of R and ciphers. So, and xi is the input of the ith round function, and f is the round function. In such case, so we, repre we represent uh, input of the round function using variables, and the round function is represented by using constraints. So we explain uh, by using a toy example cipher. So in this case, so the block cipher, uh, block length is only nine bits. And first, uh, three bits uh, input S box in parallel, and uh, this output is diffused by using uh, XOR. So in this case, so every value, so X, I, Y, I, Z, Y, uh, is uh, represented by MLP variables, and this variable takes uh, zero or one. And zero means inactive, and one means active. And next, so we uh, explain how to represent the relationship between X and Y uh, from S-Box. So for example, so this is the DDT differential distribution table of S-Box, and there it's impossible propagation, and asterisk it's possible propagation. So we represent this DDT from inequalities. So first, we introduce minus x1 plus y2 is greater than or equal to zero. In this case, so this uh, red uh, 60 propagations uh, violate this constraint, this inequalities. So we can remove these 60 propagations. Next, so x1 minus y2 is greater than or equal to zero. So the similarly, we can remove 60 propagations labeled green. And uh, next, so by purple, purple um, x1 plus x2 plus x3 minus y3 is greater than or equal to zero. So from this inequality, we can remove this purple four uh, impossible propagations. So similarly, we can remove 41 impossible propagations from eight constraints. So by using these, these eight constraints, we can perfectly represent the DDT of S-Box. And the next, linear layer. So linear layer is represented like this. So for example, y1, uh, z1 is equal y1 plus y7. So, and this table is a differential distribution table. So in such case, so 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, and 1, 1, 1, it's impossible propagation. So we remove, uh, in, we remove uh, these four propagations by introducing four constraints, four inequalities. So finally, uh, we want to represent the entire round function. So we have three S-box and we have nine XOR. So the number of constraints is three times eight plus nine times four. So it's equal to 60 constraints enough to represent this around the function. So if we want to attack, we, if we want to evaluate around the cipher, uh, 60 times R constraints enough to represent the entire block cipher. So now uh, we want to find impossible differential, but uh, actually this technique is very, very simple. So now we have a model, MILP model for our random ciphers. And uh, in, to search for impossible differential, so we fix uh, active position of X0 and XR. So in this case, if MILP model uh, can find a uh, solution, so this means there is a differential trade from X0 to XR. In other words, if MLP server returns, this model is infeasible. This means there is no differential trade from X0 to XR. So it implies uh, the pair of X0 and XR is impossible differential. 
So by using this, so the advantage of our tool is, so, so actually we have many advantage. So for example, so we model differential distribution table. So in this tool, we can look the inside of SBOX. And uh, so unlike Kim's U method, we don't need to care the reason of contradiction. So and uh, so MLP model is the completely same to evaluate the financial characteristics. So in the design process, so we can share uh, the MLP model for the financial characteristics such. So next, I explain so the application, so Midori. So Midori was proposed by Banik at AgerCrypt 2050. And the previous impossible differential is six rounds. And in this case, a sub-byte is regarded as ideal uh, S-box. So our tool found seven rounds impossible differential, and this, character, this impossible differential where it exploits the structure of sub-byte. And so after the find uh, impossible differential from our tool, we manually verify why this uh, found impossible differential is impossible differential. Okay, so the, from now, I explain uh, the reason of contradiction. So in this case, so middle 1 to 8 has 8 bit S box, but this S box uh, uh, consists of this. This S-Box uh, uh, uses this type structure. So for example, so we first apply bit permutation, and next, apply an involution for bit S-Boxes in parallel, and apply bit permutation in both. So we focus, we, for example, we focus on SSPY. So in this case, so we found uh, this uh, interesting property. So for example, in the left case, so if uh, the top two and bottom two bits are active, in this case, only uh, the top SP1 is active. And so the after bit permutation is uh, inverse of the uh, first bit permutation, so the active position is preserved. So the right-hand case is uh, completely the same. So we exploit this property. So this is the uh, illustration of new impossible differential on middle. So in the forward direction, so the one byte active, but this byte active has a red property. This means at the top two and bottom two are active. And the ciphertext site, so the same position is active, but this in this position, the middle four bits are active. So and by evaluating the propagation, so we focus on the one, two, three, fourth round function. So in this uh, position, so the forward direction, uh, the differences has red property, but uh, backward direction, this uh, byte has blue property. So this means like this. So of course, it is contradict. So this, uh, uh, impo this, uh, property, this uh, uh, pair of the important output differences becomes impossible differential. So next, I'll uh, explain about Redipat. So Redipat is an extended generalized phase zero network uh, proposed by Berger uh, at selected SAC. So and uh, this network is an uh, extension from generalized phase zero network. So normal generalized phase zero network, so we have fast nonlinear layer and uh, so permutation layer. But extended generalized extended GFN, so the, there are linear layer between nonlinear layer and, and permutation layer. So previous impossible differential uh, is eight rounds, but we found nine round ones. So this is a specification of Redipat. So Redipat has 64 bit block length and uh, 30 rounds, and uh, every branch has four bit. So let's start uh, how to find the impossible differential. So the previous impossible differentials are straightforward, but our impossible differentials perfectly exploit the differential distribution table. So this table is the DDT of Lilipat S-Box. 
So, and the uh, conclusion, so the if input difference is like this, and the output difference is like this, and after nine nouns, so alpha is chosen from two, three, eight, nine is f, uh, the pair of input and output differences becomes impossible differential. But from the limitation of time, I only explain why alpha is equal to nine, uh, this becomes impossible differential. So this is the illustration of nine round impossible differential, but maybe you can see it. So, okay, so the first, uh, we focus on the first and the second round. So in the plaintext, uh, we have uh, differences alpha here, and after the first round, alpha moves here, and next, so in the second round, alpha, became alpha is input of the S-box, and after the S-box, so we get uh, differences beta. So beta is propagated from alpha via S-box. Next. So, the, so after that, we focus on the round four and round five, and from forward direction, we get these differences, and from uh, backward propagation, we get these output differences, okay? So let's focus on the round five here at this point. So now, input and output difference is the same, so the output of S-box is also zero. Uh, the ad, ad, output difference of S-box is also zero, so the input is also zero. So next, uh, zero propagates here, and alpha goes, we have alpha like this, and uh, output of differences it becomes zero, zero, and the input also zero, zero, okay? So let's go to round four. So the, after the bit permutation, this zero, zero, zero uh, moves in zero, zero, zero. So we focus on the right side, okay? So now, uh, zero, x, or beta, so the alpha, uh, so the output of S box, uh, output differences of S box becomes beta, and input differences is alpha plus beta. So, but when alpha is nine, there is no such beta. So alpha goes beta, and alpha plus beta is not equal to zero, and alpha plus beta goes beta. So if alpha is nine, there is no such beta, so the, this uh, pair of input and output differences becomes impossible differential. Okay, so finally I talk about new results uh, from a design aspect. So first, by using our tool, we can get uh, something provable security. So, but of course, we need uh, assumption. So first assumption is round keys are always XORed before Xbox. And these round keys are chosen from uniform at random. So, but of course, uh, if we focus on the real block cipher, so the round key is generated from key scheduling algorithms, so this assumption never falls. But uh, if we consider the cryptanalysis, so we sometimes use this assumption, so I think this assumption is reasonable. So observation is, we, focus on, we first focus on the nonlinear layer. So if delta i and delta o is uh, possible from differential distribution table. In this case, there is always subkey that this propagation is possible. So, and uh, MLP can perfectly simulate the propagation uh, on linear layer. So from two these observations, it implies if our tool shows delta in, delta out, it's possible there is subkey such that the propagation is possible. As a result, this is a case of midori from the uh, skinny and the rectangle and so on. So the remark is a, a such space. For example, in the midori one to eight, I exhaustively search one byte active impossible differential. As a result, we uh, know eight rounds are probably secure, secure under the impossible differential in this such space. And finally, I talk about what is arbitrary S-box mode. So arbitrary S-box mode is very useful to, uh, for the design process. So for example, so the, if, we focus, if we want to apply this technique to 8-bit S-box, so the number of inequalities to represent 8-bit S-box is too large. So it is, it is 
uh, possible to represent and create inequalities, but so current MLP solver cannot solve such huge MLP. So arbitrary S box is a reasonable solution. So to represent n bit arbitrary S box, so only two n inequalities are uh, enough. So for example, let's consider the situation. So linear layer, so now you design new block cipher. So linear layer already designed, and we never, uh, but the design of S-Box is ongoing. So in such case, so we can check uh, impossible differential by using arbitrary S-Box mode. So if we found impossible differential in this mode, so we never avoid uh, this impossible differential by choosing S-Box specified. And in other words, if impossible differential on specific S-Box mode is the same as the case of arbitrary S-Box mode, so I think we can conclude that choice of S-Box is optimal. So this case is an example of a middle and ready path. So the middle is a completely same as the arbitrary and specific S-Box mode, so I think the choice of S-Box is optimal. But really bad, so the 279 land impossible differential in specific, but 195 impossible differentials in arbitrary. So the choice of S-Box is not optimal, so, but I think uh, the number of round is preserved. I think it is reasonable. So finally, I conclude my talk. So new impossible differential search tool based on MLP was proposed, and uh, from cryptanalysis aspects, we can find a new impossible differential on five block ciphers, and uh, from design aspects, so we can show probable security and uh, how to detect the optimality of S-Box choice using arbitrary S-Box mode. Thank you very much. Are there any questions? So if I understand correctly, uh, your analysis is complete, assuming that the subkeys are independent from each other. It's if and only if. If there is uh, an impossible differential, you'll find it, and uh, vice versa. But uh, you said that uh, due to uh, the key schedule, you might not be able uh, to uh, uh, get uh, all the impossible differentials uh, uh, when uh, the key schedule exists. So my question is, suppose that the key schedule is linear. I see no reason why you cannot include this uh, linear key schedule in your uh, linear programming, and then for linear uh, key schedules, you'll get if and only if property. You, so you'll show that uh, there doesn't exist uh, in the real scheme anything uh, with more rounds, which is impossible differential. Is it the case? Yes, so the, yeah, if the key scheduling is linear, so, but, So yes, yeah, so the uh, so it depends on the specific value of key subkeys. So no differences. So the in the data randomized part, so the impossible differential depends on the differences of value, but the key schedule. So in this behavior, so the key schedule depends on specific value, not differences. So I think it's a I need a more advanced technique to represent specific value uh, to, to observe and uh, check a specific value using MLP, but I think it's open problem. Thank you. Are there any, qu any more questions? Okay, yes, one. So I guess your techniques can be used to uncover backdoors. Sorry? I, I guess these techniques are good at uncovering backdoors in block ciphers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's thank this.